So if you're out there looking for an all-in-one docking station for your MacBook, maybe your iPad, maybe even your Steam Deck, then this dock I'm gonna show you today is definitely the true definition of multifunctional, not just with the ports that it has, but also in the way you can actually configure your MacBook to actually sit on the dock. You're in for a treat because this dock has some great functionality and great performance overall. Let's take a look at it. The huge Aiden One dock is fully equipped with eight awesome, highly functional ports that you will actually be using if you are a creator or a gamer or just looking to have a workstation set up on your desktop for your MacBook, for your laptop. Yeah, and this is the awesome dock that we are going to look at today. Tech, wait, this is the, I said, look at the dock, don't look at me. This is the awesome dock we are going to look at today. Techies and Gamers by a company called Cuge. They do, in fact, have their own websites. So it is an official company that has a number of pieces of tech, uh, but there are a lot of docking stations they do offer. And this was the one that kind of sparked my interest for a number of reasons. So for one, the size of it, it's a very small footprint that will take a little bit of space on your desk, right? It's about, I don't know, four inches by seven. So it's very tiny, has nice weight. So this thing is pretty much 100% metallic, some kind of metal, um, very cold to the touch. Um, and it comes equipped with quite a few things you can actually do with it. This really caught my eye because it is for one, very sleek, low footprint. And also it can orient my MacBook in a number of ways, whether I want it closed in clamshell or if I want to have it open to actually extend or even mirror my display to an external monitor, I can have that and just, well, basically have two monitors going. I actually have my MacBook in this case with black trim. The case itself is pretty low profile, more or less. You can see if I can zoom into it. You can see that it's uh, it's not so thick. The feet kind of stick out to the bottom, but either way, with this case not even taken into account when I bought it, if it would fit in here or not, it fits. Just like that. See these little legs down here at the bottom? These actually come out like that. And then it has these two little pegs that kind of flip up from the front to allow your MacBook to sit in position so that it does not slide forward. And you get yourself about a nice 30 degrees or so lift from the back of your Mac. So it's kind of tilted facing towards you in case you wanted to use your webcam or even if you wanted to actually type on your MacBook keyboard. Let's get into the nitty gritty of what really floated my boats. I have more than one boat, that's right. One is the HDMI port. I think was the, one of the most important things. When I say the HDMI port, I mean that what it can actually output when you extend it to an external monitor and it goes all the way up to 4K 60 FPS. Another beautiful factor about the HDMI port is that it supports 1080p at 120 hertz. And with your MacBook Pro, if you are utilizing the extended monitor at 1080p 120, well, we all know the MacBook Pro M1 MacBooks support 120 refresh rates. So you will get that clean, crispy, smooth playback on that external monitor. Another awesome thing about this docking station is that it provides four high-speed USB ports. You have two USB-A ports, which are 3.0, providing up to five gigabit speeds, and two USB-C ports that provide up to 10 gigabits transfer speeds as well. And both of these ports not only provide up to 10 gigabit speeds, but they both also provide up to 100 watts of charging. You also have yourself a nice gigabit LAN port right there in the center in case you wanted to maximize your high, awesome Verizon network speeds, is what I guess if you have Verizon. And then you have yourself two SD card slots here on the side, one for micro and one for standard for all my creators out there who utilize cameras to capture their video the way I do, 
professional DSLR cameras and utilize SD cards to record your footage. So you can easily slide your SD cards in a slot right here in the back and work with your data that way, which is also great because it supports up to 128 megabytes per second. Another thing I like about this dock is that on the bottom of this, you have these rubber grips on the actual legs that extend forward. Um, you won't be slipping and sliding anywhere. On top, this is also rubber, so your Mac won't be sliding left and right when you dock it inside that center slot. This thing plugs and plays normally with any device I have connected to it. I've tried gaming controllers, mice, my MacBook, iPad, iPhone, everything connects normally with no problem and instantly projects onto my TV or my monitor. If you're interested in this device, check the link in the description. All the information you need is there to take you straight to where you need to go. No sponsorship here. This is just something that I found to be very nice and works very well for my creative workflow. And I felt that I could share with you guys out there who are also creatives, streamers, videographers, YouTubers out there who may be in search or on the lookout for something like this. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up, a little tip and save you some money, right? And get you some of the best stuff out there without having to bust your pockets open.